Now we're going to go over how to set up and um, use Zoom and some of the basic functions on an Android device. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download the Zoom app from the Play Store. And I'll put a link to the Play Store page in the description below this video so you can just tap on that instead of having to search for it. So once you have it downloaded and installed, go ahead and open it up and you'll be greeted here with this message. Um, you can either join a meeting, sign up, or sign in. And then it shows you um, some basic information of how Zoom works and um, some of the features. Um, we're gonna go ahead and sign in just because it'll make it easier when using the Zoom app in the future. So I'm gonna click sign in. And you get a couple different options here. If you've already set up a Zoom account through your work um, because they have a Zoom license or something like that, you want to go ahead and make sure you sign in with those credentials at the top here. If not, um, you get a couple um, other ways to sign in here. The easiest one um, for me um, is Google, so I'm going to use that one, but you can use any option you want. Um, but we're going to go ahead and tap on Google and sign in that way. Um, but also at the back of this front page, if you hit sign up, you can go ahead and do a full sign up um, if you don't want to use your Google account or anything and just create a, your own um, username and password and stuff. But we're going to go ahead and click sign up and we're going to go do Google. And I get a couple of different accounts here, but I'm going to select the Google account that I want. If I don't see the Google account I want, I can choose um, use another account down here at the bottom and it'll just ask you to sign into that Gmail account. So I'm going to click on the one I want. And you'll see this and um, if Zoom doesn't launch, you can just click launch itself. Um, also, if you haven't created a Zoom account before and you're using your Gmail, that's totally fine. You follow the same steps I just did. You'll just get an extra page before this one that says, do you want to create an account? You just say yes, um, and it'll use your Google information to create an account. So you can see my Zoom app hasn't launched automatically, so I'll just hit launch Zoom. And there you go. It'll sign me right in. And I get all my options at the top here, like new meeting, join a meeting, um, and down at the bottom I get meet and chat, meetings if I have any uh, scheduled um, or anything like that, or the meeting ID, and a bunch of other different options here. You can add contacts and things like that. But if we just go up here, you can click on new meeting, and again, you have the information here. We'll click start meeting. And once you go ahead and have the meeting open, um, you get a bunch of different options at the top and the bottom. And you can see at the bottom, you can go ahead and mute the microphone so people can't hear you if you want. You can also go ahead and mute the video so people can't see you either. That's up to you. And you can turn those on and off. You can also click the share tab um, to go and share things or the participants tab where you would see a list of everybody on the call and you can go ahead and send an invitation to people down here by clicking the invite button and you can either text or email it. I suggest emailing it because that's the easiest way for everybody to get it. Once you go ahead and open your email, you can go ahead and send the email to whoever you'd like. And you can see in the body of the email, you have a link to the video um, call, the Zoom meeting. So people can just click on that link. It'll open up Zoom for them if they have it installed and go ahead and put them right in the meeting. Um, but they also have the meeting ID and the meeting password if they need to go ahead and enter in the meeting manually. So go ahead and make sure you send that to whoever you'd like. And then that way, whether they're using a phone or a tablet or their computer, they can just go ahead and um, use all this information or just click on the link. That's the easiest thing to do. So we're going to go ahead and head back. And you can see in this list, you can also actually mute people individually or mute every, everyone down at the bottom if you need to. You can also see down at the bottom you have a more option if you click 
the three dots and you get like meeting settings and things like that that you can go and look through um, if you want to and you can go and adjust those and then you can go ahead and click the end button and since I'm the host of this meeting when I click the end button I get two options one that says leave meeting one that says end meeting if I end the meeting that ends it for everyone and kicks everyone out if I just leave the meeting everyone else can stay in um, and the meeting will only end once everybody leaves um, if you didn't host it, um, you'll hit that end button and you can only leave the meeting. You don't have an option to end the meeting for everybody. But I'm going to go ahead and end it now. Now we're going to go back. If I want to join a meeting, I'll just show you that real quick. Um, this is where you would type in the meeting ID and then this is where you would type in the meeting ID. Um, and then you would click join meeting and you can change your name too. Um, so that's how you would go ahead and do it. If the meeting um, has a password with it, you would type in the meeting ID and then it would ask for the password. So that's how you go and start a meeting um, or join one. You can schedule them, you can share your screen, a bunch of other things. But that's the... Um, basic overview of how you can use Zoom on an Android device. Hopefully that helps.